it's rather nice now because it's much cooler because as I'm, hopefully all of you will have had today it was a scorcher i think it was about 25 degrees here i am feeling a little warm in the cheek um yeah it was a stunning day but it was hot i'm not gonna moan about it nope no moaning but it was warm anyway i thought today i'd do a really short video on sweet itch because it's something arty has that we live with try and deal with and I know my video on Coop's allergies has done really well and people have been really interested. So I thought I would do a similar one on my very fat ginger horse that's stood in front of you right now. Um, for any of you who've not seen his video, Artie's currently not doing a huge amount. Uh, a little bit of hacking here and there, but we he got diagnosed recently. You'll see that he's got clipped back legs. Um, he got diagnosed with sort of suspensory disease in his hind legs, so he's not going to be doing anything. So that's why he's looking like a little beached whale, bless him. So I thought I'd start at the beginning. When I purchased Artie, who I purchased off of the dealer's yard, it was very obvious that he had sweet itch. You know, he didn't have much mane. His tail looked like a bog brush. So I don't know why he's so swishy. He's very sensitive. Um, it was very clear he's going to pick the lead rope up. He always needs a toy to play with, even though he's like 10. Yeah, it was very obvious he had sweet itch, but I thought, I always thought with a rug and everything that I'll probably be able to manage it. Um, and, you know, he wasn't very expensive, so I kind of knew that I was buying him cheap because he had sweet itch, etc. And, yeah, so I knew he had it, and I thought with a rug, I'm sure I can manage it. It won't be that big a deal. So, I, I can manage it to a degree. It's not it's not easy and he always looks pretty scruffy um i do dream of the day that i have a horse with a beautiful mane and tail because obviously corporal who you can't see but it's in the stable at the end um has allergies and so he often has very little tail or mane so i'm just jolly unlucky i think so i thought i would show you i would say rt sweet itch is moderate i don't think it's horrific i might be a bit of a breeze in the background um i don't think it's horrific but it's not like non-existent it's you'll see so i'll show you kind of some of the signs that he has sweet itch first if you can hear that in the background it's the fans in the stable first up his tail this is not awful for arty um it's not awful but you can see i mean it's very well it's just because he rubs it he does have a sweet itch rug on um but you know sweet itch horses will be determined to rub their tails so this is not too bad because we actually do have some tail here but i imagine throughout the summer it'll probably get a little bit worse i'm just going to go and rescue the lead rope that he's enjoying chewing you're such a chewer aren't you so tail which is very standard would you stand still please um actually he's lined himself up perfectly shaped forelock this is something i don't know um, about other horses but he loves to go for his forelock um especially when he comes into the stable it's the first thing he does is he sort of you know gets on the door and starts giving his poor old head are going over and i hate in previous years he's actually ends up taking most of his forelock out and it looks awful so um i try very hard for him not to do that mane again you can see very sparse mane it never really grows back that brilliantly because obviously years of damage from him itching it this is not too bad you'll also see i don't i'll do it from the other side but he has um very lumpy can you see the ridges again damage from where he rubs on the doors in the walls everything um and also you know you can see look at these lumps that he gets and it's a bit hard to see on the camera but he does get these horrible bumps that come up um so it's it's not a particularly lovely thing for him to have it must annoy him i don't think it's as bad as coop's allergies by any means you can see here some of these bumps as well where he rubs um, I don't know if having sweet itch is what's made him super sensitive or it's just he's a chestnut. But he is very sensitive. He doesn't enjoy being groomed, you know, no brushing. He really hates that. Doesn't particularly like being bathed or anything like that. Um, he puts up with it, but it's not something he loves. So I try not to over groom him because, yeah, a lot of floor digging and so on. So what do we do to try and keep it at bay? Not a huge amount you really can do most importantly is um, a sweet titch rug and a really decent sweet titch rug because if they're not tough enough they'll just they'll just sort of make holes in them and Artie's dreadful for this like he'll damage them very early on which is why i always say i wish companies would make 
better tail flaps and better main covers for them because they should put like an extra layer through them because they need to be tougher than what they are but yeah you need a decent sweet titch rug the problem with that is is the more decent ones are thicker and then when it's hot weather like it was today they get hot in them but you can't take the sweet titch rug off because you don't want them getting bitten by midgy so it's a bit of catch 22 you don't want them getting hot but at the same time you don't want to leave them without a rug so yeah always a sweet titch rug and my advice to anyone is to put your sweet itch rug on as early as you can at the beginning of the year so rt tends to come out well his sweet itch starts to come out around the end of may so just about now differs each year and my vet told me quite early on when i got rt to put that sweet itch rug on literally from january the first and it she's right because the times i've left it because obviously he doesn't show signs of his sweet itch till around now I, in the first few years of owning him, I left it till like March, April to put the rug on. Of course, it was too late by that time because he had been bitten and it already started. So it's obviously the midge's bite which causes the sweet itch. And so I definitely would say to anyone that's got sweet itch or put that sweet itch rug on really early. Even if you don't think there's any midges about because there will be around. I think you start seeing midges in February. You get a nice warm day, the ground's still a bit wet and there you see them in the yard. So I do try and be very careful. But to be honest, he wears his sweet itch rug nearly all year round, which is a bit tough going, but um, I, it means that he might have some mane going through the summer rather than none at all. So sweet itch rug is very important. You will hear in the background, if we go into Artie's stable, his fan, um, a bit dusty, excuse the dust. I couldn't rate this more a fan is so important because it keeps the midges from staying in the stable they really like the cool air over them it stops them from scratching as much on the door corporal's got one as well i mean corporal's not talking because he doesn't he's very rude but yeah corporal's got one as well again he absolutely adores his fan but yeah it keeps a nice airflow keeps the midges away it's really important so i would advise anyone that's got because I've taken his rug off, he's going to have a good scratch now. Um, a horse with sweet itch or allergies to get a fan in their stables. It's also really lovely in summer to be able to put it on. So that's, again, another thing that I think is really important. Another thing that's worth doing, this is not helping, is when, if you've got a horse with sweet itch, to get your vet to take a sample. They can take like a little scraping of their skin. And actually, Artie had, which doesn't sound very nice, but had like... um. I can't remember what it was called, but like a hole punch, especially along his neck here. And what they can do is they can just test to see exactly what they're allergic to, um, just in case it's something else, because obviously you never know. For Artie, it was midges, but yeah. So it's always worth talking to your vet because um, they will always have good suggestions. There's also shampoos out there that are meant to help. I personally don't think they help massively, but everything's worth trying because even if you get just you know marginal gains they all add up so definitely talk to your vet see if they've got any ideas and solutions to help as well next up is obviously don't be rude next up is obviously not to turn them out when it is particularly midi so i would say early mornings late afternoons early evenings or when it's at its worst not to put them out then I find that aloe vera is brilliant for any of the sore bits because obviously you want to try and take away the itch so that they don't keep scratching it so I tend to put aloe vera on his mane and his tail. I also didn't show, I might have to walk around for this, but he also likes to rub his ears. And actually this is some of the parts that get quite, he can make his ears quite bold. Us. Um, so he hasn't quite got there yet, but his ears, you'll see the hair starts to get a little bit shh, shh, shh. Um, Yeah, less hair in there because he likes to rub his ears. The other thing I would say is to make sure that you don't leave any kind of rough edges in the stable because they will find anything to rub on and if anything's got some sort of uh, like a tiny bit of a lump to it or a lever there's nothing around i promise um then they'll use that to really get after their tail and i had some bars at the back of my stable which i thought barely had any sort of sticky out to them and yeah he he can re he's really had a go on his tail before about that so you need to make those stables as smooth as possible with no edges that they can start to hammer their tails on or hammer their manes on um i've i've spoken to vets about these possible injections but they say they don't find they work particularly well so i've never bothered with that obviously lots of fly spray and things like that when they're out in the field he's probably going to remove his rug now um 
but other than that, I don't think there's actually a huge amount you can do. And if I was being totally honest, I think if I was to come across a horse that had sweet itch again, not a horse that had like very minute amount of sweet itch, but if something had a medium amount, I probably wouldn't purchase it because it's not ideal if you ever want to show. So when Artie wasn't lame, he would have made a beautiful show horse, but obviously having sweet itch completely rules that out because you'd never have enough mane to plait and they were, you know, you can't have bold bits on their body. Same with their tail. Thanks, Art. It's because I've taken his rug off, so he's making full use of having a good itch and a scratch. Um, yeah, so that kind of takes, takes away that they could never be a show horse and also they're, they never look that tidy. And it is, it is a bit embarrassing. You want your horses to come out looking beautiful. And if they've got sweet itch, then nine times out of ten, their tail will look like a bog brush. And it's tough on them as well. It's not particularly nice to see. Like, it must be horrible for him feeling itchy. I think because I have corporal, whose allergies can be absolutely bonkers at times. Can you not do that? Then actually, Artie's sweet itch doesn't feel that bad to me. Because, as I say, when corporal has a manic allergy attack he is horrific so Artie never you're very swishy stop it but you can see like uber sensitive to any bugs and flies and midges like you know he's quite stroppy about them he's quite stroppy in general but yeah so yeah so my two main things would be can you not do that um a really decent sweet itch rug and ideally a sweet itch rug that you can, and a lighter version that you can use in summer and then a slightly thicker one for at night um, and when it's not too hot because, yeah, they will destroy the light ones really quickly. Um, and the fan. I couldn't, I, I couldn't live without the fans. They do such a good job. So, yeah, I, fans and sweet itch rugs and just getting that sweet itch rug on as early as possible in the season will 100% help your horse. So... January time when you don't think they uh you don't think they need it put it on because no doubt there'll be a little midgy somewhere and once they've bitten them it starts the ball rolling anyway I thought I would just do a little video on it